Let's just relax. You've done this a thousand times. Just make an apology. So, am I recording? Hi, Wiz background. Yes, that's Wiz. From Kona Suba, Wiz. Download that in the description. Um, the Audio Legacy 5s. Uh, a video should have come up before this one because I'm in control of my own destiny and I can time things. And I basically popped off about how those are like the best IMs ever. And I compared them to the Theodore Legacy 3s, which are like $130. And I'm like, well, for twice the price, you get quite a, like, it's solidly the best headphone or IM that I've heard. And when I put on the Thyodio Clairvoyance for the first time in weeks, because I, I listened to them for a second, I broke them in on the, the rig, I just had the rig run it for a while, because they were breaking as a thing. However, this has two electrostats and five balanced apertures, so I don't know if those break in. And um, so I finished the Thyodio Legacy 5 review. And okay, it's time to go back and listen to the clairvoyance again. And I'm like, but, you know, how could you beat the Legacy 5s? $700 in Thy Audio. Like, it's the same box. It's the same box. It's the same case. It's got a couple more accessories. It's got a fucking wire and um, completely different internals. And I wasn't sure. Here's the thing. I put on the clairvoyance, the ones I'm wearing right now in my head, right now, right now, this very second I've got them in my head, right after the Legacy 5s were done. I was so like, mm, Legacy 5s, I am Legacy 5 fanboy, go to town. $250, can't beat them. And I stand by that. At $250, you cannot beat the Thyota Legacy 5s. But at $600, I wasn't sure. Because I put the clairvoyance in and I put them in the BTR5 because the clairvoyance are by default a two and a half millimeter. And I'm like, okay, good. I'll go make some food. I'll play the BTR5s, BTR5s into the clairvoyance. I'll, you know, get things set up. I'll get, re remember what the hell the clairvoyance sound like. I'll come down and I'll knock out the review. But I'm listening and I'm like, at first I wasn't sure. Is this much? Is this. Three times the price of the Legacy 5 is good. Because that's that's how I have to approach things. And in my brain, it was like, no. I just fucking did that. What The review of the Legacy 5, which you probably watched a week ago, I did two and a half hours ago. And I'm like, oh, God, yes. So the clairvoyance steps up. And it's not that I have a hatred for expensive things, but I don't want to feel like I'm the shill that's always just shilling the bigger and better things. What, you got a Corvette? Ha <laughs> ha, pansy. Look at my Maserati. Well, not Maserati. They're not that high end anymore. Look at my, um, uh, give me something exotic. Koenigsegg. Look at my Koenigsegg. Ha ha. You have to have a Koenigsegg. Your Corvette's stupid. No, I'm the guy that likes the Corvette. Corvette's enough for like most people. So a Legacy 5s is perfectly fine. It's great. $250. End game. But I came back down here. I plugged the Legacy 5s in. I plugged these into the same amp. I went to the same music. I took it off the BTR5. I went to the, the A90, which is like my benchmark DAC. That's not a benchmark, or benchmark amp. That's not a benchmark amp. This is benchmark's a brand. Um, and I was like, I'm probably not going to hear a difference. And I hear a difference, like a significant difference, like a pretty goddamn substantial reason to praise the clairvoyance. Because, like I said, the the architecture of the Legacy 5s is four balanced armatures and a dynamic. The architecture of the clairvoyance is five balanced armatures and two electrostatic drivers. So now we're in Nana territory. Remember the Nana, the Kanira Nana, 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 Nana. So we're getting into that like there's a point where you put so much shit in IM that you just confuse it. It doesn't sound coherent, and it's just fucking mess. Then there's when you do it right, like the Nanas or like the clairvoyance, and I can't tell what's going on inside 
I'm just like, ooh, this is awfully sound stagey. So when I switch back to the Legacy 5s, to the Clairvoyance, to the Legacy 5s, to the Clairvoyance, I've never put multiple IEMs back in and out of my ears so many times. The first thing you notice is the, the distance you are from the sound. The Legacy 5s feel a little bit closer, a little more intimate. I was like, oh my God, the low end is so much more because we listened to these for two hours. And it's like, but wait, is this more low end or better low end? And I was like, no, it's just more. These clairvoyants have better sub bass. That's one of the things they say on the page. And I'm like, that's bullshit. No, no, they say have better sub bass. They do. God, I love this wire. How do they do this? How do you do this with a wire? It's a four wire, just twisted together. Aluminum connectors. I'll take them out so you can witness them. They've got a hell of a back plate, which is completely customizable, by the way, and we'll get to that. Two pin on either side. I am using the stock tips, just like the Legacy 5s. They come with, oh, where is it? Is this you? Yeah. They come with the foam tips, the same exact foam tips the Legacy 5s comes with, although these do come with only two. It's the exact opposite of normal. They come with two silicones, six foams, and... Uh, adapters to go two and a half millimeter to three and a half and to 4.4 Pentacon. The same as the tin P2s. However, these are made of aluminum. The ones for the tin P2s that I have here are also made of aluminum, but like a little bit duller. And I actually like the way that the two and a half plugs into the tin one versus this. The, the Thigh Audio one, which they provide, and they're perfectly fine. They work great. Is that you put it in, you got like a little bit, little bit of free play there when you're plugging it in. Whereas you plug it into this one, and it's like, it's just straight down onto it. So it's, it's, it's just, I'm glad they. This has got to be the new norm. I'm, I'm looking forward to this being the new norm. Companies, any headphone above or any IM above a hundred dollars, I expect you to toss a fucking couple of these in there, and everything comes with a 2.5 millimeter balance because I believe in IM balanced. Balanced IMs are the way to go. So let me put some tips down. Actually, I'm going to put you, you go in here because we're going to use you and you, you're a three and a half millimeter. You go in here because we have to talk about how these specifically respond to different amplifiers. Because when you have a dynamic, yes, you could have a difference in different types of amplifiers. When you have balanced armatures, I find it less likely to change on different types of amps or different amp signatures. But when you put those electrostats in, shit gets weird. And like, it doesn't just get weird in the highs where you'd expect it because the you know, electro, you know, electrostatics are obviously over the high end. I, I plug these in to the Rebel amp, which is the class A amp. And it's like, whoa, bass, warmth, nothing bad. Nothing like, oh God, I don't want to listen to it. More like, oh God. Do I love it here now? Like, this is the only place to listen to it? And then you switch back over to this. Like, I was doing the same track over and over again because there's a really intense low end at the beginning. And I'm like, oh. Oh, I have a choice now. Shit. Because now I have to include that in the review, and now I have to listen to 25 tracks on one amp and 25 tracks on the other, and then go back to the BTR5 because they're all going to sound different. And that is one of the negatives. I'm going to call that a negative. I really am going to call it. Unless... Because I don't know if you picked up these clairvoyants, which are $700. Keep phrasing that. Which are $700. If you pick these up and you plug them into your amp, which maybe I don't have here. I find that I find that likely. I actually don't have that many headphones amp, headphone amps. But you do that and it's like, ah, oh, then Zeo's described and it's not the way they described. Um, then I have to cover my ass by saying, yeah, these are amp dependent. I haven't plugged them into, I've only plugged them into three amps. Let's put it that way. BTR5, the A90, and the Rebel Amp. How many more do I need to try? But there are, is a different flavor every time I plug it in. So be mindful of that. Now let's plug it back in. I oh, fuck, I gotta go with this one. I gotta go with this one. It's, it's a moral imperative. So plug these back in my ears because you don't need to see them right just it, you can look at the picture in the description go to the description click the link and there's a picture they're very pretty um let me open up the the thigh audio is made by linsoul they're, they're a subsidiary or they're branched off and for 700 dollars you got an electrostatic tribrid 
Electrostatic tribrid in-ear monitor with one... Oh, it does have a dynamic. Wait a second. Did I read that wrong? Wow. Because here's the thing. I got this, and I'm like, all right, I look, okay, it's $700. So I ignore the page. I try not to look at it. And then I try to read it over before the review just to sort of get my, my numbers right. But um, apparently, there's also a dynamic in here. How? How'd they fit it? How do you fit five BAs, one dynamic, and then two electros? So take everything I said about it being a complicated fucking mess usually and doesn't work out right to add an entire dynamic driver to it. Four-way passive cross... Sure, four-way passive crossover. That could have worked. Four sound bores with lits, uh, 5N OOC wire, with silver, four-core silver-plated cable. It's a very nice cable. It is a nice cable. I'm not a huge, like, lits person, but if you're going to do expensive cables, at least make it an IEM cable where the things are sensitive enough to bring that out. So, how big is the dynamic? They don't say. What's in the box? Coming soon. Unboxings coming soon. It says an add to cart. You could buy this. There's, there's four reviews of five stars, which this product should fucking get. Dual ESTs carry the treble section to bring the fast transient into full detail. I don't give a shit about your words. Okay. They don't say the size of the dynamic, which I'm kind of interested in now. Because that explains why I'm hearing some characteristical, characteristical similarities between the Legacy 5s, which are a dynamic and four BAs, to this, which is now apparently a dynamic five BAs, and then just two electro stats on the top. For, for fucking fun. For fucking fun. Never let it be said that Zeos does his research fully and completely before a review and is professional. Um, the less I know going into a review, like, I don't even want to know the price. Honestly, I want to put something in my head and be like, oh, look at the accessories this comes with. And then I want to guess the price. And then depending on what I've assumed, if it's higher or lower is how we go about our business. So let's put them back in my ears. Hmm. But in that one's seat, we're on medium gain. Medium. Not high. Not low. Low, I have to... Medium gain. And we're just going to... Oh, these are Pink Floyd IMs. These are Pink Floyd IMs. Because Pink Floyd, especially the Dark Side of the Moon, is like... Away. And then like over here, there's like someone talking to me. Like, why are you talking to me over there? So it does a lot of... It feels like what I was describing in the Legacy 5, even if it's exactly that, now take everything and move it back two feet. So if the sound was here, now the sound is there. And move it around your body. Because that's where we are. You have to turn it up a little bit. Austin Them. Pink Floyd. Dark Side of the Moon. Big old fucking audiophile bullshit going on right now. It's ideal. I feel less claustrophobic. I didn't feel claustrophobic with the Legacy 5s because that was that's my end game as far as $250 goes. And how do you beat that? Well, you take that same sound, even if it's identical sound, and you add soundstage. Because you can't just add soundstage. That isn't something that a pad swap or a plug swap will do. You can't just pull it out of your ears. To make great sound sound great and be farther away from you takes an additional to $350. Wait, $700? Yeah, yeah. It takes an additional $350 to do that. Right? $250? Yes. No. $450? A lot. Takes money. I really don't want to stop listening to this, because us and them is just... <sighs> I don't want to compare the listening experience I'm having to this to, like, a well-treated room and giant old-school speakers and vinyl, because that's nonsensical bullshit. But, um... Expensive and good IEMs are nonsensical bullshit in their own sort of magical way. These are probably more relaxing to listen to than the Legacy 5s, which I'm going to keep referencing because if the $700, $700, that's, that's 
That's that many hundreds. If that's too big a number, think about... No, no, that's not how you do 250. How do you do 250? How do you do half? Think about 250 versus 700, all right? Think, think about 250 because I think the Legacy 5s sound as good as these do. But these have space and you're paying for it. What it's like when you it's like you have a a, spa, uh, a space car. It's like you have a car that can do 180 miles an hour. That's pretty much as fast as you need to go. But now you want a car that does 210 miles an hour. It's only 30 miles an hour more. But the amount of power it takes to go 180 versus the amount of power and design and engineering it takes to do 210 versus the amount of power and design and engineering it takes to do two fucking 40. Even though they're all the same amount of distance apart you are paying for that absurd amount of engineering. That's why the Bugatti Veyron costs a million dollars and like a C7 Corvette doesn't. Because a C7 Corvette can do like 200, but it can't do 240. Because you have to do have wind tunnels and five times the horsepower and more torque and more aerodynamics. You, you need all that. So in order to make a sound that sounds as good as the Legacy 5s, give you a little more space, well, then you're doing some shit. It's like moving near field monitors 25 feet away and having them still sound as good. You would just, it would just be a big echoey mess. And I know all about big echoey messes, ladies and gentlemen. So to do that, to move some sound further away and have it sound just as good as if it's right here, apparently you need to add another balanced armature and two electrostatic drivers and cost. Would choose. Yeah, no, no. The echoes from, from us and them would choose. It's just literally moving around in space around me. So, the, the best, the easiest way to do this review is just to say, please go watch my Thyreo Legacy 5 review, which I was adamant about those being the best IAMs. And then make them a little bit further away and more relaxing. And jack the price way the fuck up. That's what that's what the clairvoyants are. And I absolutely think they they're probably worth the cost because just to add those drivers would probably cost an extra hundred dollars in just manufacturing. Well, maybe not hundred dollars in manufacturing. Let's be honest. But yeah, no, these are these are seven hundred dollar IMs with, without a doubt. These are these are better than the Legacy Fives. I just reviewed them two and a half hours ago. I just blew my praise load all over those. And then I go and fuck up by listening to these on good amps. Or hey, Let's change it out. Let's change this to this. Yeah. Let's go. We still want Pink Floyd? Great. Definitely picking up a sweetness, which I, I know is like a non-audiophile fucking term. So you're reviewing baked goods or IMs. Shut up. Yes. Actually, a little bit. I got to I gotta crank that down a little bit. I think the Electro stats in the Class A are just being a little weird. But the low end is like... I'm assuming that's... That's interacting more with a dynamic driver than the other things. What is the resistance on these? There's no specs on this entire box. Musical liberation awaits. Yeah, now these are... Uh, why do I always lose one in my ear? These are... Uh, yeah, they're fucking good. I'm not going to take away the title of best I am I've heard in a long while from the Legacy 5s, though. Because I don't want people who can't afford this to say, well, I'm just going to wait for the clairvoyance. I'll just keep saving and keep saving. Because you can buy this and live happily fucking ever after. But if you have the means now, and it's like, all right, I just you know what? Zeus described those as like this perfect fucking I am. But, you know, I do want to just chillax a little bit. Like, I literally had these in my ears. I just went for a walk. Just straight out of my back door. Just, just straight out the back door. I'm like, wow, it's really sunny. I'm just going to walk. And music was playing. I think it was Run the Jewels, which is like my, my power metal music in my heart. I just walked straight into a grass field. Like, I was like, ah, oh, this is fucking great. And these are fucking great. 
Would I do that with the Legacy 5s? Yeah. Uh, did I cry like the Legacy 3s? I think the Legacy 3s broke me. I think Fly Audio, I, I, I don't have a lot of faith in companies when they go from like a really weird planar headphone that needs a lot of modifications to be good to just IMs. I didn't have a lot of faith, but holy fuck. The layout, those thigh audio layouts, some really fucking appealing IMs. So you have, just in the description will be Legacy 3, Legacy 5, Clairvoyance. According to the box here, <laughs> there's also the v Legacy 9, which I have not heard, the Voyager 3 and the Voyager 14, and then the other um, EST series, Electrostatic series, which is called the Monarch. So I'm assuming the Monarch is one and the Clairvoyance is two. I think this is the top of the line. I love how they have a plug checkbox for two and a half, three and a half, or 4.4. Meanwhile, it comes with all of them. <laughs> so yeah, um, what have I done? I've done the Clairvoyance now. I did the Legacy 3s. The Legacy 5 isn't even on this box. Like the Legacy 5 comes in the same box. I don't know why it's not labeled as such. You're not the Legacy 9s, are you? No, you're the Legacy 5s. That would have been fucking weird. What do you want from me? I put a Wiz background on. Do you know how fucking rare that is? That's, that's like, especially that one. Where she's in like some post-apocalyptic afterworld. Wearing like a jumpsuit thing, a swimsuit. It's... Oh, I didn't show you the backs. Sorry, Wiz. Go close for a second. So you have the option of either being a universal IM or a custom IM. So you go from 700 to 800 if you wanted that. I'd probably not do that because I, with the tips, they fit perfectly and I'm not worried about it. But you could also change the back plate from this, which is apparently the default. Which is, ah, it looks a little bit like Martha's Vineyard, like, souvenir shop. Like, you'd see a seashell that looked like that. That's great. But you get to click this and have uh, everything. So you can have the default template here without the thigh audio written in it, because it does say thigh audio in there. Uh, all these, by the way, are an extra $60. But you can get it in red, and in red and blue, and then, like, pearlized, and then more pearlized. Glitter! And then the entire shell color you can change as well. So you can change this to purple. Get a, I think I did purple on purple with my um, custom IMs. You know, just just get the st stock one. Spend the $700. Don't, don't, don't spend... The, you can spend $760 if you really want to make it pretty. But... I want to I click the reviews. I want to click the reviews. I did it last time. Mid-Fi Brilliance. That's fucked up. One of the best IMs under 1,000. The choice you won't regret. All right. Who gave it the four stars? Good old rock and pop. Very good for older rock and pop recordings, which Pink Floyd. Uh, but for I, uh, I, EDM and rap, the bass is way too loose and untextured. I don't like reading reviews, by the way. So it's best if I read them with you so I could just go, huh? Huh? Oh, fuck. They're talking about the mest again. The guy's talking about the mest. Apparently, Unique Melody has a, an IM called the mest, and it's just supposed to be the be end all, be all things. The $10 patrons are all like, oh my God, the mest. You got a mest, mest, mest crew, mest crew. And I'm like, but I don't have them. So I don't. Just leave me alone. Let me enjoy what I've got. But yeah, no, the uh, clairvoyance here are certainly, like, out of nowhere, great. You can't just call it, make something cost something. I know from experience, you can't just jack the cost up, jack the complexity up, and there you go, buy it. It's great. It has to filter through the people like me. I have to give it the heads up and the okay. And I'm definitely 100 fucking percent giving it the heads up and the okay. And also that guy that was complaining about the bass... I wonder if he tried it on multiple amps, because that's what I'm getting on this, is that if you have a problem with something, you chain, move it over, and that problem either disappears or triples. And I'm not talking about big problems. I'm talking about just like slight tonality shifts, the low end like ringing out. I think that guy would be much more satisfied with a Class A, or even a tube. Fuck, I gotta get my, I gotta get the other desk set up so I could set up my tube amp, like permanently, because uh, this, uh, this is some silly shit. All right, I'm done. I don't want to. I don't want to keep going because I'm just. I could just bullshit about bullshit. I know you guys love that, but you got places to be. There's other YouTube channels I enjoy. You should probably enjoy them too. They're not about audio gear. That's that's my domain. But um, you know, Mauler reviews Star Wars shit. 
and yells about Game of Thrones. Uh, Critical Drinker does some great analogy stuff if you could handle the accent. Who else? Ross Scott game uh, does the vintage game reviews. God, Ross Scott's game dungeon is amazing. I'm leaving. D download Wiz. Let me move that out of the way. Download Wiz in the description. You can crop her out. I actually had her on my phone. Oh, by the way, that sky, I drew that sky because the sky it ended like there and I needed to fit this monitor. So I like copy pasted the entire sky. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, so yeah, that wallpaper in the description. If you'd like to support this, I'm not going to sell one of these in the yard sale. I'm, I'm, I'm way ahead of myself because I fucking mm, those. But then these like compared directly. I was like, obviously these, but then oh, fuck. Anyway, uh, Patreon and Subscribestar keeps this channel going, and hopefully when I lose my mind, they'll pay for medication to make my mind less lost. So feel free to jump in for $5 to see these reviews early, participate in the yard sales, and ask me any questions on platform. If you don't want to wait for me to answer your question on platform, because it does take weeks now, uh, because there's so many... Uh, there is a $10 chat that is a behind-the-scenes private Telegram chat, which I'm about to bring these up because I have not once seen anyone mention the clairvoyance in that chat. Not once. Not a fucking... 200 people all willing to spend all this amount of money on audio gear, and no one brings these up? Why? They're great. So those people, if you want to join the chat I'm about to go yell at, it's $10 a month. Either subscribe to or Patreon. Both of the same benefits. Um, don't forget to check out Hi-Fi Guides and the Hi-Fi Guides forum where there'll be posts about every product that I review. The, a post is generated there by the mods, who is great. Well, it's Mon. Mon is the greatest mod ever, of all time. Big shout out to Mon with a, with a zero, M zero in. So he's, he's, he's the best. It can be, it's irreplaceable. He's irreplaceable. He is the clairvoyance of uh, Hi-Fi Guides. And um, yeah, no, yeah, fuck. I feel like I have a nervous tick now. Because I just, like, to go from that earlier today to this now with the sun setting and my stomach full of macaroni and cheese and chicken, it's like, oh, fuck. Thank God I did it in that order, though. Because if I would have done the clairvoyance first and then moved to the Legacy 5s, I might have been like, eh, Legacy 5s are great, but spend $700. So the Legacy 5s are great, but $700. And the clairvoyance are great, but for this, for $250, what up? All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done.